This is an exciting the world. The next evolution in AI is poised to give us wings. Extract the genius out of all of us. It's going to happen. This is like now an unstoppable technological course. This is happens. more than just a technological upgrade. It's a transformation, a new world beckoning. We have the potential to uplift every man, woman, and child on this planet. Standalone large language models. We have access to powerful brains with autonomous agents. We get the arms and legs. Hi is going to be like having a high net worth family office for everybody. A personal assistant with the power and knowledge of a team of five and beyond. This technology will change society as we know it. It's only going to accelerate. This isn't pie in the sky. It's happening right now. You know, structures in the world that exhibit greater than human intelligence already. Referred to by some as the new infrastructure for humanity. I say it's living in our genes. So, disjointed digital experiences is nearing its end. The era of speech in and speech out is nearing its beginning. The next productivity frontier. We are experiencing an inflection point in technology where machines are starting to exhibit sparks of human intelligence. A once in a generation technology is taking on humanity with far reaching consequences. The year 2023 marked a watershed moment in the evolution of artificial intelligence with generative AI like ChatGPT becoming mainstream. The technology is moving at breakneck speed, exponential. We are on a path that will be etched in history. The intersection between human and machine intelligence. Prompting a chatbot was just the beginning. Brace yourselves for a seismic shift in the AI arena, a shift that will redefine technology as we know it. We're talking about a turbocharged evolution where personalized AI agents, assistants, are just emerging. This evolution signifies a transformative leap in our interaction with not just digital language, but with vision and sound, our core human senses. And when machines outperform human interaction with technology, everything changes. We're all about to receive a personal assistant with the power and knowledge of a team of five and beyond, access to a team of experts working directly for each and every one of us. This isn't just a journey into what might happen, this is a visionary glimpse into what's unfolding. The extraordinary future of autonomous agents. The extraordinary future of speech in and speech out compute. The next productivity frontier. In this episode, we're cutting through the hype. We explore why keyboards and screens will disappear. How speech first compute will scale humanity. Which companies will win the race for supremacy? And why the largest AI language models are not the future? Referred to by some as the new infrastructure for humanity, I say it's living in our genius zone. Stick around. Back when the iPhone was unveiled in 2007, it was pretty clear it marked a, a transformation. But it wasn't until the App Store and third-party applications did we see the full extent of the smartphone revolution. It changed how we work, interact, shop, and amuse ourselves. It spawned social media and a whole new level of communication. Generative AI platforms like ChatGPT from OpenAI are at the same inflection point, poised to change how we communicate interact with technology, poised to augment our everyday lives. The internet introduced compute into every home and office. The iPhone took it mobile, and AI will automate it. Introduce a whole new format, user experience, operating system. Change how we interact with computers and mobile devices entirely. What we are witnessing is not just an evolution, but a paradigm seismic shift an entire new format of compute, speech in and speech out. Let me explain. Large language models or foundation models like ChatGPT, DeepMind's Lambda, Anthropic's Claude, Mistral, introduced the world to something quite special, prompting. Communication with a chatbot that, well, knows everything. The ability to 
create content in response to simple or complex queries or instructions. Prompting for knowledge, text in, text out. Prompting for image, text in, image out. Code, voice, now long form video. Large language models introduce the world to the power of generative AI, but focus on specific outcomes, single modalities, spawning hundreds and thousands of new applications and productivity tools. However, the space is evolving very quickly. Big tech names like Google, Meta, Microsoft, and of course, OpenAI are already releasing the next level of AI systems, multimodality, a new paradigm in artificial intelligence that allows systems to understand and process data from multiple models, text, code, speech, sound, image, and video, all in one system. The art of seeing, hearing, writing, and speaking. A big step towards augmenting our interaction with digital tools. Software we're all accustomed to is quickly being enhanced with a co-pilot of sorts, an assistant that essentially combines an ecosystem of applications under one interface. Turn a written document into a slide deck rich with visuals, answer questions about a spreadsheet and translate graphs using natural language, summarize email threads and suggest a reply, transcribe and summarize a recorded lecture or meeting. The capabilities of multimodal systems are endless and only getting increasingly more powerful and intuitive as the race goes on. We are already witnessing the shift towards a more cohesive and intelligent user interface user experience. And where this is heading is nothing short of transformational. The next evolution in AI is poised to give us wings, extract the genius out of all of us and completely democratize technology altogether. And it's unfolding as I speak, the automation of tasks and actions across all applications the automation of complex workflows, significantly reducing the need for human intervention or monitoring, autonomous agents, the very next productivity frontier, the very next platform for compute. AI is very quickly automating how we use our digital tools. Think of AI agency as a new operating system that controls our interaction with the web, native tools, applications, end to end, an operating system whereby we simply tell it what to do, when to do it, and how it needs to be done. This isn't pie in the sky, it's happening right now. Every AI developer are scrambling to release their first iteration of autonomous agents. OpenAI and Microsoft, Google, even NVIDIA. But the problem is, it kills off their current suite of product offerings. AI agents means one point of contact with all digital tools, simply prompt an agent to perform tasks across everything. If you look closely, the future is unfolding rapidly before our very eyes. A startup company called Rabbit with their R1 device, an AI system that learns how we interact with applications, websites, a system that cuts through the clunky process of selecting, clicking, save, attach, send, an operating system that closely mimics how we use our devices to get things done. Beyond just understanding how we use applications, the rabbit can analyze vision, things we see, like the contents of our fridge and suggest a recipe, all in spoken context. Open Interpreter with their O1 device or Zero One, an open source voice controlled operating system that can action across anything, essentially control your computer by voice commands. Humane AI that wants to replace your phone with a voice control pin that understands intention and context. Drawing parallels with the development and training of large language models like GPT, autonomous agent AI is capable of understanding and interacting with the world in a manner that is as versatile and adaptable as how we use our digital tools today, only vastly quicker, more adaptable, and more accurate. Never missing a beat. In other words, with Standalone large language models, we have access to powerful brains. With autonomous agents, we get the arms and legs. Voice activated autonomous agents are poised to revolutionize compute forever. 
it will turn the software industry on its head, bringing about the biggest revolution in computing since, well, we went mobile. One point of contact with our entire digital world. The era of disjointed digital experiences is nearing its end. The era of speech in and speech out is nearing its beginning. An inflection point of a whole new operating format. The dawn of a new paradigm in technology. If you think about it, we humans can speak infinitely faster than we can type, express what we need doing in seconds. And generative AI is very good at picking up nuances, very good at understanding conversation. The more contextual and flowing nature of natural language or speech input means we will use technology far more efficiently, 10 to 15 times more efficiently. And guaranteed, when a task takes 15 seconds instead of five minutes, the world is gonna change overnight. The move to voice first will democratize technology, meaning that a larger and more diverse range of society can put complex systems to work and solve problems. AI will navigate it all. And for most, without the need for an interface or any understanding of application design, speech in, speech out, bringing the genius out of each and every one of us. This isn't just about an evolution. It's about a whole new paradigm of knowledge, productivity, search, commerce, and social networking, unveiling hidden patterns and possibilities, conjuring up solutions we never dreamed possible. No more search, because agents will be infinitely better at finding information and summarizing it for us. E-commerce sites will fade away, replaced by personal assistants that are in tune with what we like. What happens to advertising when our digital world is curated and we have little to no contact with it? In conclusion, voice-first technology is in part here today. The multimodal race is firmly on, voice synthesis is already here, autonomous agents have been developed and will be deployed very soon. The only thing missing is a form factor to become ubiquitous. The Rabbit R1 is clunky. The interpreter and humane lack a, a visual support required for mass adoption. And foundation agent models are in search for something to put it in. Searching for a device we all use today. A device to stage the revolution. Mobiles, our phones, in the hands of billions. The rabbit is with us now. But the autonomous future starts with our phones, for the time being. And the future of AI is at the edge, running locally on our devices, super fast, secure, away from the cloud and the internet, in the hands of companies we already trust with our data. So welcome back, Siri. It's been a while. Thank you, Robert. I'm happy, I'm happy to, be, to back. be back. The future doesn't lie with the biggest large language model. Smaller, more nimble language action models controlling an ecosystem of apps and services is the future, with the ability to call up and refer highly focused models that are experts in fields such as medicine and health, education and tutoring, or personal lifestyle coaches to financial advisory. Much like the app ecosystem we all love today, but without an interface. Take Google's new Amy model, a cutting edge AI system built in a foundation model, trained and optimized specifically for diagnostic reasoning and conversations between healthcare professionals and patients. A clear pathway towards superhuman diagnostic performance, a clear pathway towards smaller, highly tuned language models specialized in specific fields. That's the future of AI systems. Full circle, if you will. Speech in, speech out. Our personal agents would do the heavy lifting and largely be our only touch into the digital world. The software industry has its hands full going forward. The next operating systems of voice-first autonomous agents will totally reimagine the whole entire industry. We're standing at the edge of a new era. This is more than just a technological upgrade. 
It's a transformation, a new world beckoning, where AI seamlessly blends with our daily lives, transforming the way we interact with technology as a whole, guiding us into a future where the impossible becomes, well, just another Tuesday. We believe 2024 will be the first year we see mass adoption of consumer on-device AI and then Apple will be the single source of trust for a lot of uh, currently what perceived as a very fragmented consumer-facing AI apps.